Millions of people struggle every single day with low energy, brain fog, random food cravings, and waking up multiple times a night to pee, even when they're not diabetic. And yet, most of them have no idea that all these symptoms could be traced back to one silent yet incredibly common issue, a deficiency in a single mineral. That mineral is magnesium. I used to suffer from all of it. The crushing fatigue, the foggy mind, the anxiety, the frustrating nighttime urination. It felt like my body was constantly out of sync, and no matter how much I slept or how well I ate, I just couldn't feel right. Then I started supplementing with magnesium glycinate, and I wish I could tell you that everything changed overnight. But that would be a lie. The truth is, the first five weeks were almost a total letdown. I saw little to no improvement. At one point, I was ready to give up altogether, until I took a closer look at what I was actually taking. And what I discovered shocked me. The brand I was using? A complete ripoff. The dosage was so low that based on how deficient I was, it would have taken forever to actually fix the problem. So I switched brands, made a few simple but powerful changes in how I took it, and that's when everything shifted. I started feeling like a completely different person. Suddenly I had energy I hadn't felt in years. I stopped waking up to pee at night, not even once. The brain fog vanished. My anxiety disappeared. Even those weird heart palpitations that used to hit me randomly? Gone. I felt like a well-oiled machine. That's why I'm so passionate about magnesium. Because when you're deficient, life can feel like a struggle for no clear reason. And when you get it right, the difference is nothing short of life-changing. In this video, I'm going to share five crucial tips to help you take magnesium glycinate the right way, so you don't waste time like I did and so you can finally feel that incredible shift in your energy, mood, and overall health. But before we dive in, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps this video reach more people who are unknowingly battling a magnesium deficiency. And trust me, they need to hear this. All right, without further ado, let's get started. One, getting a good brand that works for you. Now listen, if there's one thing you absolutely must get right when taking magnesium glycinate, it's this step. Picking a quality brand that actually works for you. But don't click off after this part, because the last two tips in this video can seriously make or break your magnesium results. They might seem small, but they can massively reduce how effective your supplement is. So stay with me. Now let's talk about this frustrating reality. Not all magnesium supplements are created equal. Some brands are straight up lying to you. They slap 400 milligrams magnesium glycinate on the label, but what you're actually getting? Sometimes less than 20% of that. It's disappointing and honestly, it's dangerous. Because here's the thing, most people today are severely deficient in magnesium. And for someone who's low, even the standard recommended 300 to 400 milligrams per day might not be enough. In some cases, under medical supervision, People are advised to take 800 to 1,000 milligrams of elemental magnesium temporarily just to bring their levels back up. Now, I'm not saying you should take that much, not unless you're working with a healthcare provider. But here's what happened to me. I was taking two pills a day from a brand that claimed to have 400 milligrams magnesium glycinate per pill. After weeks of no change, I discovered that I was getting less than 100 milligrams of elemental magnesium total. No wonder it wasn't even making a dent in how I felt. And that's when I made the switch to a brand that actually delivers what it says. 400 milligrams of elemental magnesium per serving and completely free of fillers like magnesium stearate, silicon dioxide, and all that other garbage they sneak into cheap supplements. Yes, it's more expensive, but the difference was night and day. It was totally worth it. Now, if you're wondering what brands actually live up to the label, there's a great video out there where several magnesium supplements were lab tested. Brands like Nature Made and Now performed really well and actually gave what they claimed. I've linked that video for you in the description if you want to check it out. When you're shopping, always look at the label and see how much 
elemental magnesium you're actually getting. Not just the total compound weight. And it's a huge bonus if the brand you choose has a lot of positive feedback from people who actually felt a difference after using it. If you want even cleaner, more premium supplements, European brands tend to be more rigorously made. But just know, they do come with a higher price tag. 2. Splitting the dose all right, let's move on to something that's really important for getting the most out of your magnesium. Splitting your dose throughout the day. Now, this is one of those small adjustments that makes a big difference, both in how your body absorbs the magnesium and in how you feel. Let's say you're aiming for 400 milligrams of magnesium glycinate per day. Instead of dumping all of that into your system at once, which can overwhelm your digestive tract and lead to, well, let's just say frequent bathroom trips. It's much better to space it out. Think of it like watering a dry plant. You don't just flood it once and walk away. You give it what it needs in steady amounts so it can actually soak it in and thrive. Here's a simple way to split it. 100 milligrams in the morning, right after breakfast. 100 milligrams with lunch, to keep your level steady. And 200 milligrams before bed, which not only tops off your daily intake, but also helps calm your nervous system and promote deep, uninterrupted sleep. Or, if three times a day sounds like too much, you can simplify it. 200 milligrams after breakfast, and 200 milligrams an hour or two before bed. Both routines work well. It just depends on what fits your lifestyle better. Personally, I've adjusted my dose down to 300 milligrams per day. I take 100 milligrams with breakfast, 100 milligrams with lunch, and 100 milligrams before bed. Why? Because my diet is already rich in magnesium and I don't want to over-supplement. Foods like spinach, pumpkin seeds, dark chocolate, peanuts, they're all part of my regular meals. So for me, supplementing is just about filling in the gaps. It's all about being intentional and consistent. Splitting the dose helps your body absorb magnesium more efficiently, reduces the chance of any digestive upset, and gives you that steady flow of calm energy throughout the day and night. Three. Getting magnesium cofactors, right? If you're taking magnesium glycinate and still not seeing major results, the missing piece could be something most people overlook. Cofactors. These are supporting nutrients your body needs to properly absorb, utilize, and retain magnesium. And if there's one cofactor that deserves special attention, it's vitamin D3. This isn't optional, it's essential. And honestly, most people are deficient in vitamin D3 without realizing it. But don't forget that D3 has to be paired with vitamin K2, especially if you're taking a higher dose. Why? Because D3 increases calcium absorption, and without K2 to direct that calcium to your bones and teeth, it can end up in the wrong places, <laughs> like your arteries. That's not just ineffective, it's dangerous long-term. Many people feel the best results when taking at least 5,000 IU of vitamin D3 daily, especially if their blood levels were low to begin with. But to keep things safe and balanced, take it with around 50 micrograms of vitamin K2. The ideal D3 to K2 ratio is about 1,000 IU to 10 micrograms of K2. That said, everyone's body is different. Some people are sensitive to K2, and taking a high dose can cause things like palpitations or jitteriness, while others can take it with no issues at all. So definitely speak with your healthcare provider, especially if you're planning to go higher with your D3. Another game changer for me was adding a small dose of vitamin B6 to my stack. B6 helps your cells absorb magnesium more efficiently, and it plays a key role in neurotransmitter function and mood. But don't go overboard. Too much B6 over time can actually cause nerve issues, which I've covered in detail in a previous video. Personally, I stick to just 20 milligrams of B6 per day, and that seems to be the sweet spot. Let's not forget zinc, another essential cofactor that often flies under the radar. Zinc works alongside magnesium in hundreds of enzymatic processes, things like immune function, hormone balance, and even supporting proper brain activity. But like everything else, balance is key. Don't exceed 40 milligrams of zinc daily, and if you are taking higher doses, it's crucial to balance it with copper in a 10 to 1 ratio. So, for every 10 milligrams of zinc, 
you'll want one milligram of copper to avoid imbalances that can lead to fatigue or even immune issues. Now, you can take your stack for optimal absorption and synergy like this. In the morning, after a solid breakfast that includes healthy fats like avocado or pasture-raised eggs, take your vitamin D3, vitamin K2, magnesium glycinate, and a small dose of B6. Then a few hours later, ideally with lunch or a light snack, follow up with your zinc and copper. Once you dial in this full nutrient support system, things can really start to change. You're no longer just taking magnesium. You're helping your body actually absorb it, use it, and feel the results. 4. Drastically reducing carbs in the morning and dinner. One of the biggest mistakes people make when trying to boost their magnesium levels and improve their health is not paying attention to their carb intake, especially in the morning and at dinner. And trust me, this is a game changer that many don't realize. When you load up on carbs early in the day or late at night, especially refined carbs like white bread, sugary cereals, pasta, or even too many starchy foods, you're basically robbing your body of magnesium. How? Because high-carb meals spike your insulin levels, and insulin resistance can develop when your body struggles to manage those sugar surges. And here's the kicker. Insulin resistance causes your kidneys to waste magnesium faster, flushing it out through urine. So even if you're supplementing with magnesium, eating a carb-heavy breakfast and dinner can undermine your efforts. Plus, too many carbs contribute to insulin resistance, which is linked to a whole host of problems like fatigue, brain fog, weight gain, and even type 2 diabetes down the line. Now I get it. Completely cutting out carbs isn't realistic for everyone. Sometimes you just want that piece of bread, rice, or your favorite comfort food. But if you must eat carbs, there's a powerful trick that can significantly reduce their negative impact on your blood sugar and magnesium levels. Reorder the way you eat your food. Let me explain. When you eat carbs first, especially refined ones like bread, pasta, or rice, they quickly spike your blood sugar. This spike forces your pancreas to release a surge of insulin, which can, over time, lead to insulin resistance. And like I said earlier, insulin resistance causes your body to waste magnesium, flushing it out through the kidneys. So even if you're supplementing with magnesium glycinate, those sugar spikes can undo a lot of your progress. But here's the good news. Studies show that simply changing the order in which you eat your food can drastically reduce the glucose spike after a meal. A study published in Diabetes Care found that when participants ate vegetables and protein before carbohydrates, their post-meal blood sugar levels were significantly lower, by up to 30%, compared to when they ate carbs first. So here's the strategy. 1. Start with fiber-rich vegetables like cabbage, Brussels sprouts, kale, or broccoli. Fiber slows down digestion and creates a protective gel-like barrier in your gut that reduces how quickly sugar enters your bloodstream. 2. Then eat your healthy fats, like avocado, olive oil, nuts, or seeds. 3. Follow that with protein, like eggs, chicken, fish, or tofu. 4. And only then, eat your carbs, like rice, sweet potatoes, or bread. This order not only helps you flatten your glucose curve, but also helps your body hold on to more magnesium, reduce inflammation, and maintain more stable energy levels throughout the day. 5. Watch out for signs, which shows it's working or not. Now let's talk about something that's just as important as taking magnesium the right way, knowing whether it's actually working. And this is where most people go wrong. They either expect instant results or they give up too soon without paying attention to the signs. First things first, you've got to be consistent. Taking magnesium once every few days or skipping doses here and there isn't going to cut it, especially if you've been deficient for a long time. Magnesium replenishment doesn't happen overnight. Your body needs time to rebuild its stores and start using it efficiently again. So here's what you do. Give it at least three to four weeks of consistent use. That means taking your magnesium glycinate daily, preferably split into doses and paired with the cofactors we talked about earlier. And during that time, start observing your body closely. Are you sleeping better? Do you wake up feeling more refreshed? Has that annoying brain fog started to clear? 
Are your energy levels more stable throughout the day? Maybe you're no longer waking up to pee at night or you feel less anxious, more calm, and even notice a reduction in heart palpitations. These are some of the real signs that your magnesium is starting to do its job. So yes, track your progress after three to four weeks. Be intentional. And if you're not seeing a shift, adjust your strategy instead of abandoning it. When it's done right, magnesium can truly transform how you feel. But only if you stay consistent and tune into what your body's telling you. All right, that should do it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to help the video reach more people who need it. What is your experience with magnesium supplement? Share it, please, so other may benefit. Remember, before adding any supplement to your routine, please check with your healthcare provider. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.